We were alive a little bit ago, and we have boarded the train, and then we're going to show you the train show. See you soon. This is the Gunslinger train show here at Silverwood. Welcome aboard the beautiful Silverwood Central Railway. For years, passengers just like you have been robbed of their hard-earned money by bandits and poachers in the Silverwood back forest. No need to worry, though. All of this money was rescued and donated to the Children's Village in Port Lane, Idaho. In fact, because of those generous donations, we have been lucky enough to donate over $1 million since the very first train robbery. Now that Silverwood is a cashless park, we want to introduce y'all to our Silverwood donation coins. These coins will be used throughout today's journey and will give you the chance to be part of the show and donate to a great cause. They can be purchased at the General Stuff Mercantile. This hey, coin Lee. is one dollar. Say hi, Evie. Hundred percent of the proceeds go straight to the children's village. This we is want to thank so you in advance for your generosity. And then Kara's behind me. Say hi. Continuing the legacy that is the best day out of generation. Hope everybody's doing good and enjoying the nice weather today. Is this thing on you? Here we are. Oh, it's actually perfect outside. Hello there, all you brave passengers on the Silverwood Central Railway. Nice. My name is Marvin yeah, nice and I'm over like here in the high moon to get ready for the Marvin yeah. Yeah. Marvin it's been a little place to camp. Marvin yeah, Marvin we really enjoy it. Yeah. But this train leaves on the hour, so it's gonna gonna be de departing in about a minute. Really and I think it's a, it's about 30 minutes long from start to finish. So. Um, and we're got a seat in the middle, and that's where all the action is. They have like an old West Town on the side that um, the actors put on a whole show. So we haven't seen this gunslinger one as far as I know, so you'll be seeing it for the first time as well. What it's like to be a human. Like, why do you even walk my caboose eh? Anyway, I'll just be here, hanging out, until you get back. See you soon. So Ruby and I are both new here to Silkwood, and we really like to make 
make a good first impression. That's right, Eddie. We are so excited to be here. We graduated school, graduated, and are ready to give you all a great prize today. Why do you want, Ruby? And today, we're going to do things by the book. Speaking of book, why don't we start off with some interesting facts about old NP number seven. First off, this is an authentic steam engine that was built in 1915. It was originally used to haul miners back and forth from Eureka all the way to Palisade, Nevada. Ooh. Now next, I'd like to clear up the common misconception. Now, the drivers of this year's train, they are not called conductors, okay? They're actually called engineers. And they're both highly trained. We all bring this year locomotive safely and efficiently. Every hour, on the Ah, that's the outlet line to make note that our train does travel on our three track at a top speed of 10 miles per hour. Although it may fluctuate due to incline or humidity, which is why it is very important that you all make your seats you have all the time. Now I can't argue with that, but hey, is this a great school these people can't afford to make for an adventure? So I think we can be a bit more spark diet and maybe break this little uh, I don't think I like this show, Ruby. <laughs>
Groovy, do you know what kind of food raccoons like to eat? <laughs> Junk food! Wow, Eddie, looks like you got at least one money about it yet. Well, I need to pause myself for that one, Ruby. Now, if you all shift your focus to the right, you may get a peek at a large Did you all know that an elf's stomach actually has four chambers? See, the first is used to store the food, while the other three digest it. It's no secret that this area is known for its silver, but it is worth mentioning that 45% of the silver that's mined here in the U.S. mainly comes from Idaho. Oh, anybody else hear that rattling the word? Oh no, y'all, no, 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 we preach rattlesnake rock. You gotta keep those arms, legs, and children inside the train, okay? We don't want anyone getting the end. were invented. They were meant to be used as a temporary structure, but they then became the same solution for passageways and areas of water and flow during flood. Well, that's the abridged version anyway. If you don't like fridge jokes, get over it! Folks, I think this will be the perfect time to point out our beautiful blue skies. Did y'all know that the northern lights can be seen out here? That's right, see, we get skies so dark enough that you can actually spot this natural phenomenon where the conditions are right. That's right, y'all. Glacier is lit! Oh, it sure is, Ruby. In fact, it says right here that the northern lights originate from collisions between gas molecules on the surface of the sun, releasing large quantities of matter called electromagnetic radiation. Eddie, I think to remember saying this earlier, but this ain't school. Let's keep it alive. Sorry. Oh, no. It looks like we're coming up on a culture camp. are actually the most common bears in North America. They are on the borders with dots that vary depending on the season. Well, good thing it's not sweaty train passes this season. Yourself, Ruby. I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy. Oh no, Ruby, there's a wolf packed up on the left. Black Eddie, wolves can be dangerous. Well, that looks real angry. Hunt the thief. Hey, don't know y'all. It's the alpha. It was going to stop at the towel on three. One, two, three. Oh! 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 So coyotes are a close relative to the wolf, but they're just smaller. Now, in speaking of folks, if you ever actually do find yourself to be alone out here, it's always imperative that you remain calm. To be sure that you are sleeping to certain landmarks, you'll help you find your way to get back on the raft path. Oh, hey y'all, check it out! A landmark you should remember. How right there, Alpha? It ain't nothing fancy, but our little office does this job. Well, folks, since 
said this is a fully operational mine, I'm gonna go ahead and do my due diligence to make sure that all safety precautions are in order. Make sure you stay in your seat at all times. <laughs> okay, well Eddie's at an earshot. I think this is the perfect time to get Mr. Daddy out of the show. Now for this tour, I set up a little target practice of my own. So it might not be as fancy as Uncle Dave's wild flesh show, but <laughs> it should be entertaining. I searched his whole mind and I did not find a single one. So I can confirm with y'all that the grounds are secure. Except this day of tea, which I'm safely going to place right over here. So, Ruby, do you care to fill me in on why we made this unauthorized good stop? Can you remind me what's allowed in the manual in emergency circumstances? In emergency circumstances only, explosives and gunfire are permitted. Well, then I hereby declare this moment a state of emergency. Say hello to Big Bird. Oh, my goodness, Ruby, put that thing down. This is a risky business that we're getting ourselves into. Sometimes you gotta break the rules, Eddie. Besides, I ain't nobody here but you, me, and a couple hundred of our closest friends. Well, Do y'all want to see Eddie fire me and Bertha? today goes to charity. So if I win, I'm going to donate all of my links to the Children's Village in Coeur d'Alene. Oh, I love that. If I win, my proceeds are going to the RBA. RBA? Oh, cool. What is that? Ruby's bank account. Oh, brother. Get your money ready, folks, so we are coming through. Now, if you want to vote for me, go ahead and put your money in this red bag. And if you want to vote for Eddie, go ahead and use this boring sad one. I actually don't think it's boring. But now, folks, if you have any cash or coins on you, now's the perfect time to go ahead and donate to one of our banks. Now, I just want to let y'all know we do not accept Bitcoin, so don't think about any cryptocurrency here. All right, I'm making my way down to you, car floor. Now, remember, if y'all got any cash or coins on you, it's the perfect time to go ahead and donate to one of our banks over here. Oh, we got one of there? All right, now, who do y'all want to win? Do you want me to win or Ruby? I can go Wow, all right. I thought we were tight, never mind. All right, now, who we going to bet on? Me or Ruby? I got Ruby or not cool. All right. Okay, now, who do you want to win? Me or Ruby? Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, now, what about you? Me or Ruby? All right. I've never wanted to think of my life, so I hope today's the day. All right, who do you want to win, sweetheart? Me or Ruby? Yeah, you were not, you were not hesitant right there. How about, oh, of course, we're just going to go with Ruby. What's new? All righty, y'all. You got any dollars or any cash or coins on you? All righty, I see you waiting. Yeah, who do you want to win, me or Ruby? I get it, 2023, girls. Got to stick together. All right. Okay, all right. How about you, buddy? He just wants a dollar. All right, man. Oh! Alright, well, what's new? Ruby's getting everything. Oh, pyramid scheme, I'm telling you. Alright, okay. Alright, alright. Who are you going with? Of course, you're going to go with Ruby. Alright, what's new? Everyone wants Ruby.
This is so much fun. I mean, who knew that uh, burden for the metaphorical path could be this exciting? Okay. Once we pick our target, we can shoot it in any way, from anywhere we like. The more impressive the shot, the better. And if you miss the target, you get a letter. Okay. Are y'all ready? Come on, y'all ready? Let's hear it. start then. Be back soon, son. Praise for impact. Y'all get ready and steady Eddie. Okay, nice one. Not pleasing enough, but I'm gonna get fancy with it. Come on now, it's Rowdy Ruby. Oh, man. Oh, whoops, guys, Ruby. Looks like you just got yourself in S. This is so much fun. I mean, I don't think I could be so good at this. Okay, it's my turn again, but this time, it's gonna be that pan that's right on the shack. Y'all get ready, it's Steady Eddie. Okay, Woo! okay, Eddie Oakley, not bad. But I'm coming for you, fan. Come on now. It's Rowdy Ruby. <laughs> Did someone mess with my gun? Yeah. Or burn it all this wind? Or maybe that guy? So, Ruby, it appears to me now that you have yourself in S and an H. Well, sugar! Hey, Ruby, you better watch your mouth. Now watch me hit that can over there. Who in my eyes closed? It's so gonna find it. I am done with it. Okay. Well, I gotta say my lucky slogan first, this. Y'all get ready for Steady Eddie. Oh man. That's an S, Eddie. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not really surprised, Ruby. I mean, my eyes were closed. Okay, this next shot's gotta be something special. Eddie, grab that apple and hop up on that water tower. Ruby, that sounds like an absolutely terrible idea, but... You know, I am enjoying this new version of myself, so I will indulge you. Alrighty then, I'm gonna ricochet my shot right off this can. I am hit that apple right off the top of Eddie's head. I have to make it even more impressive. I'm gonna fire my gun backwards while looking out to this little mirror. Like I previously said to y'all, this is a terrible idea, but no, I do believe in you, Ruby, so uh, show them what you got. You might want to close your eyes for this one, Eddie. Okay. Here goes nothing. It's Rowdy Ruby. Hey, my dad. Did it work? Yeah, it was a long shot. Oh, well, I did hit the can. And unfortunately, the water tower, too. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I really thought this little detour would be just the doctor ordered to make this so amazing. Well, Ruby, it is amazing. You just broke me out of my shell. I've never felt so brave before. And now we're going to give a great showstopper together. What? Ruby, grab that TNT. We're going to give all these people the finale that they deserve. What about the manual? Manual, manual. Now, throw that dynamite on my account. One, two, three. Steady, Eddie. Yeah! Oh, no, I ended up with a huge success. Now, get down here. Nope, affirmative. Okay, folks. I think this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it nonetheless. That explosion. And all these extra Ruby, copy that. Uh, <coughs> the disturbances. Yeah, so. Those are... Right, 
Ranger Outpost. This is Wildlife Ranger Edwin Augustus Cassidy the Third. There was a situation at the Silkwood Silver Mine where we had to defuse some explosives that posed a threat to the public at large. Situation is contained. Over and out. Now, folks, y'all can just take your seats, please, so I can see our engineers up front. All right, hey boys, how we doing? All right, you know the drill. Let's go. Well done, but be advised, we've received reports of Sasquatch sightings nearby. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. These creatures are unpredictable and believed to be highly dangerous. Ranger Station, out. Well, like you said, Ruby, sometimes you just gotta break the rules. Okay, y'all, back to our regular skits program. And I can assure you folks, that from now on, we are going to be sticking to our itinerary. That's right. And we've still got one last thing to check off our list. Sasquatch! We leave the before we get back to our animals, there is a small matter of who won our little game of shots. Oh, yeah. Well, in the excitement of it all, I lost out. You know what? I bet these people remember. Now, if you think I was going to win, let me hear you cheer. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But if you think I, I Steady Eddie, was going to be your champion, let me hear you give a big, loud cheer. Woo! Well, it looks like all those donations will be going to the children's village. Well, Ruby's bank account is sad, but I'm glad it's going to the cause. Oh, hey, y'all, check it out. It's a mama eagle with her babies. Y'all know that baby eagles are actually called eaglets. Oh, yeah. Eaglets, like other baby birds, are born not knowing how to fly. Because the first few months of their lives in their nest, they end and they strange. We are about to see a passel of possums on the rack. Just like humans, they have the equivalent of a coachable thumb and use their tails to grasp that thing so they balance. Uh, looks like that one's going to need some help balancing out there. Hey, it's our friend the badger on the rock. Badgers have striped faces, sharp claws, and they live 70% of their lives underground. Oh, yeah. oh, and hey, check it out. It's a family there. Yeah. I see you, buddy. 
is the blue one, but we all know that Ruby likes driving the ruby red one. No, I like the yellow one. Yep, but it, don't forget about it. Right next to our antique cars is a ride called the tilt World. But be careful when you go on this ride because last time I went on it, I lost something. Oh no, what would you lose? My watch. Alright, that was pretty good, eh? Now we'll get the hang of this whole stuff. Okay, friends. Wait, no, I want the Huckleberry one. Oh yeah, we can, you're right. Alright, everyone, give it a nice big wave to all the people out here. 
Oh, hey, it's the Theater of Illusion on the left. Starring world-renowned magicians, Nick Norton and Isaiah Daniels. Be sure to check out their show, Phantasm. But make sure y'all get there early because it fills up real fast. What you can also found there is the Theater of Illusion Things Are Real. That's right, y'all. You can win this up by levitating in the sky or eating the things above. Mama Mia! The final destination you are going to see on your raft is Wendy's Restaurant. This charming eatery will tantalize your taste buds and satisfy your senses with its delicious menu and elegant atmosphere. Oh, and here we are back at the station. Well, may I just say, it has been a genuine pleasure having you here with us today. We might have strayed from the guidebooks just a bit, but we still hope that y'all found this tour to be extraordinary. Once again, I'm Wildlife Ranger Ruby. And I'm Eddie. Come on back and see us again real soon. And enjoy the rest of your day. Here at Silverwood. Silverwood. Woo. Welcome back to the Silverwood Central Railway Station. Please stay seated until the train comes to a complete halt. No one likes the passenger who stays up early on an airplane, and neither do we here on the train. Once the train has reached a complete halt, please use both exits. Don't forget to check out our other entertainment offerings here on the train and in the High Moon Saloon. Until next time. So thanks for joining us. That was the Silverwood train, um, a complete ride through. So there's different shows they have throughout the day. We haven't done that one yet, but that was fun. What did you guys think? What did you guys think of the train? That was probably my favorite train show I've seen yet. It was really fun and we had a great view. Yeah. What did you think about the train, Everly? It was good. Yeah, so thanks again for joining us here at Grand Ventures. Hope you like the complete ride through. There's some different ones, but yeah, this is the one that's kind of in the middle of the day. So hope you guys liked it. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And check out the rest of our videos in the series. Thanks for watching. Okay, what's up?